All right, before we get into this, your stretch marks are fine. You're beautiful as you are. You don't need to get rid of them, but I totally understand how they can make you feel a little insecure and I understand wanting to get rid of them. So hopefully this formula can help you guys out. And then this is the recipe I'm gonna be creating, which is only a 100 gram batch. And you can make however much you want. I'll link a video down below that shows you guys how to transfer the formula to however much you wanna make. So we're starting with phase A and I'm beginning with eight grams of glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant that will help hydrate the skin and it's an extremely common ingredient in skincare products. And I'm also using it to mix with the Xanthan Gum Soft. Xanthan Gum Soft is a gelling agent and I'm only using it at 0.4 grams because I just wanna use a little bit to help stabilize the emulsion. So I'm blending the Xanthan Gum and Glycerin together. And sorry, my camera's out of focus. And then I went ahead and grabbed some distilled water you can use hydrosol or aloe vera liquid if you want. I only used 47.1 grams of the distilled water and then poured in the xanthan gum and glycerin slurry and mixed. Set that to the side, grab another heat safe beaker and now we're working on phase B. This is the oil phase and I'm starting with some coffee butter. This smells just like coffee. It smells freaking amazing. And I only added in five grams of it. Then I'm using some shea butter. This can help like reduce redness. It can help heal and strengthen the skin, soothe, soften, and moisturize the skin. And I added in seven grams of it. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some cocoa butter. And contrary to what people believe, it doesn't actually heal stretch marks. It just helps soothe, moisturize, and it's high in vitamin E. And I added in six grams of it. Then I'm gonna be adding in some dimethicone. This provides long lasting skin smoothness. It increases slip and glide and it just makes lotions feel better on the skin. Then I'm adding in some Rita Mulse SCG. This is an all-in-one emulsifier. This will blend the oil and water together. And I added in five grams. Then some Settle Alcohol. This helps thicken the emulsion, stabilize the emulsion and moisturizes the skin and I used five grams. Now that both phase A and B are completed, set phase B to the side, grab your scale and pair your scale and place phase A on your scale and write down how much it weighs. Cause we're gonna take a pan, fill it with about an inch of water, place both phases in the water bath and put it over your stove top on about medium heat and let everything melt in phase B. And you want phase A to be right around the same temperature as phase B. Doesn't need to be exact. And doing this will cause some of the water to evaporate in phase A, so that's why we had to weigh it. And once they're done being heated, you have to weigh phase A again to replace any water that evaporated. So now that that is all done, you can pour phase A into phase B and blend with your immersion blender. And you want to make sure you're using an immersion blender. It has to be a high shear mixer or else your emulsion might fail. It is possible to use like a hand mixer, but sometimes it could be harder and there's no telling that the emulsion might fail because of it. Once everything has cooled to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, we can add in phase C, which includes some Actigem. This actually is specifically for cellulite. It mimics the results of endurance exercise and it even works better when you actually are doing some exercising. And I added in five grams of it. And I figured this would pair well with the Vansatril, which this is the ingredient that is specifically targeting stretch marks. And I found this on Lotion Crafter and I used five grams of it. I will link all the ingredients down below so you guys can go find them. This is the main ingredient you need though, in order for this to work. And I think it's important to know, as soon as you mix this Vansatril in, your lotion will dramatically thin out. It'll go from like a thick cream to a very thin lotion consistency. So don't be alarmed when that happens. And then I'm gonna add in some caffeine extract. This has also been proven to help with stretch marks and cellulite, and I added in two grams of it. So make sure you have that as well. And then I added in some Bisabol oil. This helps accelerate the healing process. I only used one gram of it. So I think this is a really good ingredient to add as well to help heal those stretch marks. And then lastly, 0.5 grams of Liquid Dermal Plus. This is the preservative. This will keep your product from growing mold. Very important. And yeah, just mix everything together and you'll notice it's much thinner than it was before. Um, just cover it and let it sit overnight. So the next day, it didn't really thicken up too much. It was still a very, very thin lotion-y consistency, but whatever, I was fine with it. I wanted it to be a thicker cream, but it's cool. I just jarred it up and just accepted the fact that the Vansatril thinned out my emulsion and there's nothing I could do about it. I tested it twice and both of them turned out really thin and I didn't have much left, so I couldn't keep testing it, but I really loved the feeling of this lotion. So I wanted to share it with you guys anyways. And I think you guys are gonna love it. And I know stretch marks is something that a lot of people struggle with. I myself do, 
So I really hope that this can help someone out. But anyways, you do want to check the pH. Luckily, mine came out to 5.19, so I didn't even need to adjust the pH. So if you follow this exact formula, you probably won't need to adjust it either, but check just in case. And this is about the consistency it has. You can tell it's like a thin lotion-y consistency and I like it. It feels wonderful on my skin. Hasn't been tested to heal stretch marks. I just used ingredients that are supposedly good for stretch marks. So I hope this can help some of you guys out. Okay, so now that we've reached the end of the video, there are a few things I want to mention about this formula because it actually did not turn out the way that I wanted it to. I initially wanted this to be like a thick cream, but at the cool down phase, when you add in the Vansatril, this is the ingredient that is supposedly helping with the stretch marks. This ingredient thins out your emulsion dramatically. Now, I'm not sure how it might react to other emulsifiers, and I wanted to do a few more tests but this is a very small bottle. That is how much I used just from two experiments. So if I would have done two more experiments, I would have had none left. And even though this formula didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out, I still really like it. Like it feels really, hold on. This is a lot thicker than it used to be. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I made this about two weeks ago, okay? This is way thicker than it was when we were filming. Now, there, there does seem to be like a lot of air in it. And this is due to the Vansatril. It, it, ha it creates a little bit of lather. So that's why you have to mix it in gently. So apparently I wasn't gentle enough. But yeah, so apparently after you make this, you should let it sit for about a week and then mix it again and then jar it up. Now that I'm mixing it, all of that air that was in it has came out. Look at how much space is still left in a jar. I guess it's not that much, but that's how much air was in this cream. But now that it's thickened, it takes up a lot less space in the jar. But look at this. Look at how much this Vansatril lathers. I don't know if you guys, if that's showing up on camera, but there's so many bubbles in this. So this is the culprit for causing bubbles and it's the culprit that thinned out this emulsion. So one thing I wanted to say before I was rudely interrupted by the shock of how much thicker this is now, um, I wanted to say that I have not tested this myself on stretch marks, but I really do love it as a lotion and specifically weirdly a hand lotion because I'm really picky when it comes to hand lotions and this is really nice on the hands. So yeah, if you want to like recreate this formula and just leave out the Vansatril and the Actigen, I don't blame you. Oh, and that was another reason why I couldn't test out this formula a bunch of times because I actually used up all of my Actigen in this uh, one that I was filming. So I couldn't have like retried the formula a bunch of times because I ran out of the ingredients, but I really liked the end result of the formula itself. So that's why I decided to just still share it with you guys. So I hope that's cool. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Oh God, I almost fell. <laughs> also, one more thing that I think affected the delay and viscosity change, because normally lotions reach their final viscosity after 24 hours after you make it. But I think the delay was caused by the butters. Every time I work with butters, they always like get thicker after about like a week of making it. It just takes a while for the butters to fully solidify back. So I think between the butters and the very foamy, lathery Vansatril that added a lot of air into the formula. I think between both of those cause a delay in the thickening of viscosity. Also, if you keep this in a warmer environment, it will become thinner because the butters will melt a little bit. But yeah, that's about it. Talk to you later. Someone to listen